My name is Natasha Kai. I go by Tasha though. Um, I'm 35 years old. I'm from Kuhuku, Hawaii on the North Shore of Oahu. I'm currently living in La Mesa, California in San Diego and I want to go medal with the U.S. national team. I first started getting tattooed when I was 18 years old. Um, it was a dare by one of my friends. Um, I grew up in a Mormon community and a Mormon, strict Mormon family, so getting a tattoo was like absolutely forbidden. Um, but I went against that and I got my first tattoo and the rest is history. Uh, my parents didn't find out about me getting a tattoo um, until almost a year later. Uh, I was playing soccer at the University of Hawaii. Uh, I went for a diving header and my jersey came up and the camera zoomed on the, my back piece because I got a tramp stamp, of course. Um, and my parents weren't even in Hawaii at the time. They were, I think they were in Vegas. So my grandpa decided to record that part and send it to my parents. So that's how they found out. You know, my dad was like, if you get another tattoo or your next tattoo should be me and your mom's name. And I was like, all right. You know, so 20 minutes later, I came home with my mom and dad's name tattooed on me. So obviously this is, you know, my favorite tattoo of my mom and dad. I have my siblings' names as well. Um, I got my fiance's name tattooed over my heart. Um, you know, I got a couple of tattoos representing, you know, soccer and the Olympics. Um, you know, those are really meaningful because it was a stepping stone and a, you know, to my journey, what, you know, what I went through and what I, you know, accomplished. In the Polynesian culture, you have, you know, the full sleeves, traditional tattooing, and then you also have, um, the cultural one, which is a cacao, which you only, I think there's only like a handful of people that actually, you know, are able to do it in Hawaii, you know. So instead of a needle, it, they grab, you know, whalebone and they, you know, chip it to a fine point and that's how they tattoo it. I think it's more meaningful, um, you know, it represents not only you, your name, your family, but it, it's your heritage, you know, and it goes back lots of bloodlines and, you know, back to the king and queen of Hawaii. I come from a great line of ancestors, um, you know, chiefs and kings and queens, so I call myself Queen Lilokatasha, so I'll be the next queen of Hawaii. No, just kidding. <laughs> I mean, I definitely think, you know, now tattoos are more acceptable in society, um, you know, but you still have those handful of people who don't accept it. And, um, we're all humans, we all have a story, and this is my story to tell, and I do it through tattooing. So you can accept me, or get on a train and get the out.